Bahrain has discovered a shallow grave in its search of retired Major General Idris Salkali, the immediate past chief of administration of the army. General Officer Commanding 3 Division Major General Benson Akinro Luyo disclosed this at the press briefing on Friday in Plaza State. Well, according to him, Major General Alkali was killed and buried in a shallow grave in an area popularly known as No Man's Land in a community on the outskirts of Joss Metropolis. The district head of Du Village in Joss South local government area of Plaza State, Yakubu Rapp, has reported himself to the police. According to him, three other suspects, Timothy Chuang, Matthew Chuang and Stephen Chuang, also reported to the police in the afternoon, some with their lawyers. The village head and the suspects reported to the police command the day after they were declared wanted along with four others in connection with the disappearance of Major General Idris Al-Khali retired. What does this mean to the country's security architecture? Are the Chuangs the masterminds of the murder? Data feeds are coming through in one place simultaneously on all our social media platforms, channelstv.com and on youtube.com forward slash channels where we can log on to m.channelstv.com and on Facebook as well. We are there. Be part of the show. Tweet at Gimba Omar CTV. Use the hashtag State of the Nation. Let's get your thoughts in. The Kaduna state government has confirmed the death of the abducted traditional ruler of Atom Addara Chifdom, Mewada Galadima. Senior Special Assistant to the Governor on Media and Publicity, Mr. Samuel Arwan, disclosed this in a statement on Friday. He described the killing of the traditional ruler in Kachia local government area of the state as inhuman. Gunmen had intercepted the convoy of the royal father at May Kiali village along Kaduna Kachia Road on Friday last week and opened fire on the vehicles which forced them to come to a halt. During the operation though, the traditional ruler's police orderly and three others in his convoy were shot dead by the gunmen who later took him and his wife away to an unknown location. The traditional ruler's wife had regained her freedom just two days after, but he was held hostage by his abductors who demanded a ransom from his family. But can the government contain possible reprisals in a flashpoint state such as Kaduna? The president, Muhammad Buhari, has pledged that Nigeria will work closely with the Republic of Benin to ensure the success of the newly inaugurated Semekrake joint border post between both countries. President Buhari described the project aimed at enhancing the free movement of persons and goods in the region as a sim symbol of integration that brings together the people of Nigeria and Benin Republic. According to him, indeed, the Semekrake joint border is one of the busiest boundary lines, uh, not only in West Africa, but the whole continent daily recording huge movements of persons, goods and services. Well, it's prime time here in Lagos and this is State of the Nation. in Nigeria and the rest of the world. I am Gimba Umar and this is State of the Nation. The President, Muhammad Buhari, will have to, of course, battle more than 70 opponents if he hopes to win the battle for a second term in the 2019 presidential election. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, published the forms and particulars of candidates submitted by political parties for the 2019 general elections as its offices across the Federation on Thursday, October the 25th, 2018 and Buhari will be facing scores of contestants in that presidency. Shield Nwazuraho is a public affairs analyst who joins me from our Abuja studios to analyze the issues further ahead of the 2019 general elections. I want to thank you so much indeed for coming on the show. What we have now, 91 political parties, 70 persons we understand running for the seat of the president. More names are likely to even come through. What do you make of this situation? Um, well, it's a welcome development. Um, um, Nigerians want to see several options on the table and um, I think it's, um, it enriches a democratic process that we have a lot of people on, 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 um, on the ballot in the February's um, election. I don't think it's a bad thing, it's a good thing. What we should be looking at is who has the answers to at least the basic problems that we face as a nation, who has shown, has shown capacity, who can, who can restore this democracy and um, give Nigerians 
a sense of um, a sense of uh, 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 belonging. Give them back their nation where uh, 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 your rights and your freedoms as a citizens are respected. Where you 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 are not um, a slave. Where you are not um, treated like a conquered um, citizen. I think. A lot of things we come on during the during the campaigns, and I hope and I believe that there will be debates because people want to interrogate, want to interrogate the the, the ideas these um, flag bearers have, want to know the quality of their minds, want to know they don't even have ideas of what an ordinary Nigerian, I mean the people on the street, do they have ideas of what we are going through, not just every four years you come back to us to come and ask for our votes, do you have an idea, do you, do you have any knowledge of what the woman in Kafanshan, the, the man in Obomosho, the, 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 the trader in Onicha, do you understand the issues, what Nigerians are actually going on, um, going through? Not the, you know, this, um, this election cycle is going to be different from the usual. People uh, yes, in, indeed, in, indeed, indeed it will be different. Uh, but uh, permit me to just come up because next year's election is, is expected to be keenly contested between uh, President Muhammad Buhari the, of the All Progressive Congress and former Vice President uh, Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, the PDP. They face competition from other candidates, including uh, the likes of Donald Duke of the Social Democratic Party, the SDP, Kingsley Mogalu of the YPP, that's the Young Progressive Party, uh, Obi has a question, as a matter of fact, of the Allied Congress Party of Nigeria, uh, Fela Durotoye Alliance for New Nigeria. The list goes on and on. Uh, Omo Yele Shore of uh, the African Action Congress, AAC, just to mention a few of them. 